before the game Friday night, former baseball coach Randy Clifford and former basketball coach Doug Belifus were forever written into the Bradshaw Mountain High School history books as the two were inducted into the Ring of Honor. Meanwhile, the Combe Coyotes and Bradshaw Mountain Bears both look to get their first win of the season after starting 0-2. Start off in the first, Coyotes have the ball, but it's popped out and recovered by the senior, Travis Land, and leads to a field goal. The Bears on the attack again as Anthony Mata finds a hole up the middle, and he is gone. The Bears hold an early 10-0 lead. Coyotes in the red zone after an interception as Sonatane Tanamia won't be caught. Bears lead is cut to a field goal. Second quarter now, Austin Gonzalez starting at quarterback for the injured Timmy Young as he flips it to Mata, who crosses for his second touchdown of the night. Coyotes respond as quarterback Junior Loggins faces pressure and passes to an open Corey Pearson, who slides in for the score. Bears lead is once again a field goal. Combe back on the attack looking for a lead as the Coyote offensive line will bulldoze the Bears, allowing Isaiah Jacobs to sneak in. Bears now down by four in the third quarter. Seconds left in the third, the Coyotes will take advantage of a fumble as Roy Anderson picks it up and runs it in. For an 11 point lead as the Coyotes shut down the Bradshaw Mountain Bears in the final quarter for the win, sending the Bears to an 0-3 record. You know, and we had our opportunities, we just didn't capitalize on them. Uh, we had drop balls, we had uh, interceptions, we had a fumble on one drive. Uh, and they stopped us on downs on another one. You know, we just got to utilize our personnel and do what we can. And then we had too many, you know, too many drop balls. Bradshaw Mountain Bears head to Marcus Deniza next Friday, September 15th, looking for their first win of the season. Kickoff is 7 p.m. In Prescott Valley, I'm Torrance Thunham, PrescottValleyEnews.com.